What is going on today guys? It is Stepana Gaming and I'm back with a tutorial video showing you guys how to get Fallout 3 to work on Windows 10. So first things first, let me exit out of my game so I already had it running, but you're going to start it up. You are going to be greeted with this wonderful message saying it's not compatible with this version of Windows. You're going to click it. It's going to start a download for Games for Windows Live. If you don't get the notification, just type uh, Games for Windows Live, you know, download in Google and it should come right up. Once that is downloaded, you should be greeted with the game starting up, which is wonderful because for me, it didn't even start up without Games for Windows Live. It would instantly crash. What you're going to do is you're going to go back to the desktop, but keep the game running. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to hit Control Alt Delete. Going to go to Task Manager. All right, so I'm going to show you two ways that should work. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to uh, Fallout. You're going to hit Properties. You're going to get Compatibility and put it on Windows Service Pack 2 for Windows Vista. So if everything goes as planned, you should not have to set the affinity. But if you still are uh, occurring crashes after all the steps, then just set it to CPU 0. But ignore that for right now until the end. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to go here. So I just created a folder to make it that much faster. So you're gonna I uh, Fallout 3, I already had it open. So you're gonna hit Fallout, you're gonna open this. And you are basically going to scroll down about like very, very minimal way down. You're gonna find BU's threaded AI, it's gonna be zero, change it to one. And you're gonna have to, I will put this in the description, copy this line and paste it in. What it's basically allowing is you're allowing it to run off one to two cores rather than one core so that the game won't crash and what it's going to do is it's going to let it so the affinity on the game will run higher which you won't have to set it to zero but if you're still encountering crashes then set it to one but uh, the compatibility troubleshooter should fix that for you as soon as you're done with everything so once that's all done save it no don't save because i already have it saved you're just going to exit out of the game actually i'll just do it this way where did my mouse go Jeez, I lost my mouse. You're going to close it and then restart it and the game should run beautifully. Uh, I'll show you guys an example just of me starting it up because I want you guys to see. See, it's always going to say this. It's always going to tell you it's incompatible, whatever, blah, 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 some bullshit. Click start up. The game's going to start right up. I'm just going to go right into one of my games, show you that I have progress. I started a whole new game. Haven't had one crash. You could run it on the highest settings. You could put, you know, save on weight, save on rest. You know, you could have everything and it's not going to give you any problems whatsoever i don't know why they say it's not compatible but once you run the troubleshooters you set the right cores you copy and paste everything and it'll run beautifully um you know everything works and it's awesome so thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed the video uh just leave a thumbs up and if you guys have any questions or if it didn't work for you just leave a comment down below and i'll be sure to reply thank you guys for watching